everyone, it's Cam. I do hair, I do nails. Hello. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I just set my stuff up, so I'm trying my best, y'all. Work with me. I'm trying to post, okay? So I got my new setup now, and um, I'm going to start posting uh, me doing some press-on nail sets. So this is one of the sets right here. And I, this is mine. I'm working on that. Uh, I'm going to change something in this. I don't know what, but I'm going to change something. But yeah, I'm working on that. And I started on this when I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So yeah, I'm going to start again. So I'm going to be using this Reveal Dip Powder. And that's the name of it. Okay, that's the number if you want to get this color. Um, I got this from a group on Facebook. And yeah. Um, I just already did a layer on here. And what I used is, you already know if you watch my previous videos. I used the Gelish Foundation. And I applied that on the nail. Make sure that you buff the shine off of the press on nail. And what I did is I doubled two nails together. So it will look like that. Excuse my nails. But I did two press on nails. I fouled and buffed the nail to my liking. And then I applied the Gelish Foundation. Once I did that, I put down a piece of paper, any type of paper, make sure it's clean. And then I sprinkled this Reveal Dip Powder, that's the name, that's the number, onto the nail. While the Gelish Foundation was still wet, I did not care. I sprinkled, put into the LED lamp, cured for 60 seconds, pulled it back out, dust with one of these little thingies here. I just dust it off. And now I'm going to add a second coat. All right, so since I am now on camera and I gotta turn this sideways cause I can't work this way when I'm doing press on nails. I gotta work this way. I don't know why, but yeah. So sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. And as you guys know, I have started cos uh, Tint Cosmetology for Nails. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, I do hair, I do nails. Go ahead, if you haven't, go ahead and follow me. But yeah. And my graduation day is in May. And I can't wait. I think this is going to be fun and um i'm gonna learn some sh some stuff i'm not gonna cuss this time guys Cause i noticed i got a little bit of younger people following me so yeah um i can't wait till i finish that and i i pretty much i don't want to work for nobody you know what i'm saying I want to be my own boss. Me and my husband, we got a lot of stuff going on. My husband's a photographer. Uh, he fixes computers. He mounts TVs. I do hair. I do nails. <laughs> I'm trying to get into makeup. So we're trying to make an empire here. So yeah. This is about my business. On to this. So that's the second coat of the gelish foundation and this is going to be the second coat of the dip powder and just sprinkle onto the nail and make sure that you get the sides of the nails it's very important because i know a lot of people just sprinkle on the top and yeah and it was more in here but i wasted some <laughs> Oopsie whoops. But yeah, I'm working with what I got. And the ones that I actually like, the colors that I actually like, because these are like samples to me. Because they were like $2. 
a sample of uh, two or three teaspoons, which is pretty good right now. So that I can see how the color works with this foundation. And as you know, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to do this as many times as I'm doing. You can stop, <laughs> but I just, I don't know why. It's a habit. So yeah, um, next you're gonna go ahead and cure the nail in the LED lamp for 60 seconds, and then I'll be back. All right, so we are back and cured and dried. Um, Make sure that the nails are dried. And what I'm going to do next is I'm dusting the nails off. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add another coat. And this coat is going to be clear acrylic powder. Okay. And yes, you can mix both. You can mix gel with acrylic. You can mix gel with dip powder, acrylic powder with dip powder. I haven't had any issues of it peeling, coming up. I've had some nails, which I'll show you in just a bit once I put these in the light, um, that I've had. I showed y'all. Y'all go to my Instagram. I had them for a while, like over a year. So, in some a year. But, yeah, I don't have any problems with any peeling or anything. And this is so that, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I do hair, I do nails, you would know that, like I said, my nails are very reusable. I use gel and acrylic. I don't just use gel. And some people complain about my prices, which I don't think my prices are high at all. If you go to some of these other ladies or other men, that make press on nails my prices are no higher than 35 bucks and if i bling a whole nail set out that price will be around 50 bucks okay and that means every nail has bling on it every nail sarasi crystals okay so yeah um we just added another coat of the gelish foundation on top of the dip powder which remember i did two coats of dip powder two coats of foundation and this is the third coat of gelish foundation okay now i'm going to add some clear which i got from this beauty i mean this nail supply store and i'm almost out so I'm going to go over the nails with the clear. Okay, and I'm almost out. I've been making sets, making sets, making sets. And I've got to the point where I really try not to make too much of a a fantastic set for my store because people don't like to pay and I get messages like these are press on nails no nah, boo these are designer nails okay and press on nails are plastic as hell okay they gonna break on you you're not gonna be able to use them again my nails you gonna use these shits excuse my French for years to come Okay, you ne you just never know when you need to throw on some nails or something. When you're feeling real cute and your nails, you didn't make it to the nail shop. Hey, put on a pair. So I'm going to put that in the light and I'll be back and we're going to be adding um, another coat of Jellish Foundation and then we're going to be adding some stones. Be back. All right, so I am back, and this is how it should look. Once you're done, and this is a very dark blue. If you don't want it this dark, I would go with one uh, layer of the Obsess Dip Powder, if you have this, or whatever you're going with. 
but I want mine this dark because I have a lighter blue set already. So um, what I'm doing is just dusting it off. And I normally get Mega Secret Clear, and it doesn't get off gives gives off these little um, white specks, as you can see. So now what we're gonna do? The nail is. Thick like I want it and I have a lot of ways of doing my press on nails sometimes I do two layers only one layer of the color and one layer of the foundation and then the gel I mean the gel top coat but with these I want these a little bit thicker because like I said I want to be able to keep them so we're going back in with the Jellish Foundation. And we're just going to coat. Let me try to do it this way. I'm running out. But yeah, this Jellish Foundation um, I get from a um, beauty. It's not a, a, it's not a nail, it's a nail supply store. Yeah. It's in Grand Perry. So if you stay in Dallas, Texas, or you know, close to Dallas, Texas, go ahead and just Google search nail supply stores and it will pop up in Grand Perry. Okay, off of Pioneer. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember the name of, of it, but like I said, it's off of Pioneer in Grand Perry. And I get this jellish foundation from that supply store and it's 10 bucks if you get this from sally's it's going to be about this size it's going to be jellish foundation and it's going to be 20 bucks close to it i don't remember because i haven't bought it there in a long time when i first started doing this because i went from the dip way to to this way um and that's when i noticed that Sally's was getting me for my paper because I got a bigger bottle for 10 bucks. Okay, so it normally wouldn't take this long <laughs> if you had a full bottle of foundation. And I also, also use the IBD Builder Gel. I use that too. And it works just as well. Just make sure with the IBD Builder Gel that you put down a, a gel base. Because with the IBD Builder Gel, it will peel off the nail. That I did notice. So we're going to put this in the LED light for 60 seconds. I think I want to do, yeah, 60 seconds. And then... I'm going to start adding my stones. So, we'll be back. Bye. All right. So, we are back. And now, um, as you know, with the Jellish Foundation, it leaves a stacky, uh, tacky coat. So, I've already um, took that off. And now, we're going to go ahead and start adding the stones. And I'm using a, a dotting tool and I use <clears throat> Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue to apply my stones. And like I said, they don't come off. And let me just show you. So y'all remember that set right there, the Barty set? And all these stones here. All those stones are applied with the Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue. And they haven't came off. So I think that's pretty good. And I've had these, the Barty set, I've had those for a long time. So yeah, just wanted to let you know that. So anyhow. I'm going to go around the stone with 
the kiss glue. All right, and now I'm going to add stones to the side. And what you see me doing when I'm doing this, I have some glue on the tip of this and I'm just reaching over over here. This little thing came from Home Depot. It's free. I put everything on here. And yeah, if you think this ghetto, whatever. But anyways, on to what I was doing. I'm gonna go ahead and add my stones on this one. Oh. Go ahead and add the stones on here. And I don't wanna, and y'all know all my sets like blingy. Like the last set I did was super blingy. And I don't want it to be too much, but I want it to be cute. I want it to be like, I want people to be like, oh, you know, and even myself, <laughs> I want to be like, oh, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add another stone, and I am using number eight, number 10, and number 12, okay? Those are the stone sizes I'm using. And yeah. And I know y'all know it's like, why is that one so small? I keep my thumb small. I'm just um, Okay. do too much so we gonna see how this turns out because sometimes I say that and baby I have a whole bling down set excuse that noise in the back y'all that's my And I'm just placing oh, something sturdy on there. It must be sticky. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. going to bring this all down the nail. Like so. Hope y'all can see because I was trying, me and my husband was in here trying to figure this out. I think I need to add a stone in here. Okay, that will 
that. I don't do too much. But I do want to add some more green. Okay, and I'm going to add to this one. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, we are back and this is the set that I created for myself. I didn't want it to be too blingy, but I need some bling in my life, okay? So yeah. I didn't want to be too blingy, but I need bling. And this is the second hand. Okay, so until next time, guys, we'll see how many likes I get on here. Don't forget to like. Please don't forget to like. And if you're not sub subscribed, please subscribe. See you next time.